So I thought I'd give you a tip, save money and do the same job. So we, we see these everywhere, don't we? What would you give for that, a quid? Maybe you'd give two quid for it. Um, hardly that, 50p, a quid. So I, found, I saw this and it was much in much of a sim, similar state. And I started um, having to go on the wire brush, cleaning it up. I found the name. I found the name. Governor. No, Governor. Uh, I found the previous owner's mark, shall we say? Um, and uh, previous stamp on it, WC. And I don't think this isn't a broad arrow, but somebody decided to put an equivalent to a broad arrow on it. Somebody else, a previous owner. Um, it's got WC in two places. Um, there, it's very faint. There's a WC there, look. And we turn it round, and there's a WC there. So I hear what you're saying to me. You, I can hear what you're saying. You're saying to me, Reggie, you idiot. We don't do Whitworth anymore. It's the wrong bloody size. But it might be, but it's only a gap, isn't it? It's only the very same gap. So here is a modern, this is a ring spanner, by the way. But here is a modern equivalent, open-ended spanner, right? And what would you pay for that? If I sent you off to the, to the um, silver line spanner person, a retailer, you'd pay a good amount, a goodly amount of money for that. Okay, that's a 32 mil. Well, all you have to do is find the next equivalent, whether on that particular case you would uh, work it out a bit, or you'd you'd come here and you'd grind it and file it till you got to the size you wanted. You're not far off, are you? You'd pick the next nearest size up um, and you'd put it there and then you'd get yourself a box of numbers and uh, that one, let's say we were doing a 32 mil. Let's say we were doing a 32 mil. Here's a 32 mil. You'd get the three, which is there. You get the three and you'd get the two and you'd make this grow to the next nearest metric size up, wouldn't you? And you would stamp the size on it. So instead of paying five or ten quid for one, you could really adapt something that you you bought um, quite cheaply in the car boot, in the market, in the auction, however, whatever, however. It doesn't take you long to adapt it and have a bit of history. And if you did decide to grind that out, you, you could grind it out. It's no big deal. You stamp your size on it so you can see it quickly. And you've saved yourself a lot of money. Okay, this is nice and shiny one. Well, it's supposed to be nice and shiny. It's a bit, needs a wiping. But, do you see what I'm getting at? So if you're, um, you're a bit short of spanners, tools, um, you can always adapt the old ones. And the old ones have a bit of history. Have well marked. This one's, I'd say, has several owners. This is an owner. I'd say this is another owner to match whatever set he had. And then um, here is another owner here. WC there, look. Hmm. So, hmm. Don't walk by just for the sake of, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of a bit of uh, fettling. You can bring these old ones. Um, um, I wish I would have... I wish I would have shown you this before I attacked it with the wire brush, but you know, I'll pick it up or I'll wire brush it and you end up wire brushing the whole damn thing, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, and of course, the older stuff is much better metal than the new Japanese Taiwan stuff. Why are we, why are we keeping another country's economy going when, um, when you can usually use this economy that's here? and save yourself a lot of money and still be able to do the very same job. This has to get hold of a nut and turn it. And this has to get hold of a nut and turn it. It's only the size, isn't it? Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, leave that to you. Look at this one. 
Uh, let's see what we can do with this on the wire brush. Um, what is it? 50 p's worth? Maybe a quid in the car boot? Hmm. That's all you'd pay for that, wouldn't you? So uh, let's uh, let's see what we can do with this rusty old spanner that's uh, come out of the box. It probably it's probably cost me 25p because I bought the whole lot, didn't I? So 25p or 50p, I'm guessing. Let's see what we can do with it. So that's before, and I'll do it, and uh, we'll get an, uh, an after. Old spanner. Hmm. And I put it on the wire brush. Yeah. So, I know you're telling me you wouldn't have that speckly, disease-ridden spanner in your box. But, um, with a flap disc and a grinder, um, a grinder, a four and a half inch grinder, you can easily scout crafter it, scout craftery fi it, couldn't you? Hmm? And make it look nice in your box. Yeah. And you could stamp much better than me, number 23 on it. <laughs> Which is the same, same size as that. You could do a much better job of stamping 23 on it than I have done. But rather than go to the um, spanner shop, if you're starting out on your, on your spanner journey, on your tool collecting journey, or your tool journey, you know, and you, you want to have everything, but your budget is tight, and you want to, uh, if your mission is to turn a 23 mil nut, well, you don't have to go to the shop and get a posh one with a bit of chrome on it. You can go to the car boot and get one for 25p, 50p, 75p a quid, whatever. And you can uh, put it on the wire brush and it'll do the same job. Uh, and if you don't want your toolbox to look like it's got some sort of a disease on it, all you have to do is scout craftify it. I haven't polished it. You can do a lot better job. I've just hit that with the the flap disc. That's all I did. I, I got a flap disc that was on the bench. I threw the flap disc on it and um, flap disced it. So you could do that going finer and you could really polish that up nicely. And it would do the very same job at a much better price. And you could build your spanners up to whatever you wanted to then you know earn yourself a bit of money doing a, a couple of odd jobs and uh, grow your tools so tools don't have to be an expensive posh hobby you can you can turn one one of these um old ones almost unidentifiable one into um a clean diseased one <laughs> you can even get rid of the disease and make it nice and shiny and and and, uh, and uh, presentable and even put your own name on it well put your own name on it properly hmm so hmm don't walk past them when you see them for uh, for the sake of 10 minutes 20 minutes you can bring them back to life and save yourself a lot of money a lot of money